Welcome to my tutorial on how to make a 4x4x4 four by four by four LED cube with the Arduino Uno. Um, in this video I just hope to give you a little bit of clarity, maybe some tips or tricks, um, kind of what you need how to build this cube, which is pretty sweet. You can see my other video in the description of it working. Um, so that's going to be the final product. But in this one I'm going to show you how to make it. So without further ado, let's start out with what we're going to need. We're going to need a soldering iron right there. Um, not too big of a tip if you don't have one you'll probably want to buy a smaller tipped one but this soldering iron wasn't too expensive I don't know we've had it for a long time but it still works and it worked fine for this project so you're gonna need a soldering iron as well as some solder um, I probably used about probably about uh, half a foot to a foot of solder for this project then you're gonna need 100 ohm resistors that's what I use and it works perfectly fine um, you're only gonna need four of them but I got 50 of them because it was a buck on eBay and I was like why not might as well um, and then you're gonna need some wire snippers as well as some needle nose unless you have something like this on the end that will be able to manipulate the LEDs easily but you're gonna need some wire snippers um, and then you'll need a Arduino Uno Right here, it's gonna have 14 outputs and six inputs, which is perfect for this LED cube because it's gonna have 16 grounds and six uh, positives. So it makes 16 needs and 16 pins. So it's perfect for this project. Um, and then to power and to transfer data between the computer and the, L the Arduino, you're gonna need a cord which is just a standard uh, printer cable, USB cable. It's got a USB on this end, and then it's gonna have this type of an end right there. Like I said, it just plugs into a printer, so you don't need to get a new one. If you have a printer cable, it'll work just as well if you don't mind switching between the, the printer and the Arduino. Um, but yeah, you don't need to go get a new one. If you do, it, you know, I found some on you know, eBay or Amazon, whatever. Um, and then you're gonna need some wiring right here. I have different color wires, went to Radio Shock, it was under 10 bucks. I got three big, three decent sized uh, rolls of wire. Uh, make sure it's solid wire and not stranded. It's just a lot easier to plug it into the Arduino. Um, and then you're gonna need, f those. there's the four resistors, and you also need a perf board right here. You don't need it, but it's a lot, really useful if you do get it. And this was like two bucks, I think, at um, Radio Shack, and this is only half. The other half is over here. Um, so it's about that big um, and it was only two bucks. So really I'm um, only spending one dollar since I cut it in half for this project. One dollar for a perf board. It makes it look nice and it's really easy to to wire up. So that's what you're gonna need. I don't think I'm forgetting anything else. Um, you might want to get, I just uh, st stripped some household wiring right here, the copper wiring right there on the ends, just to make the cube a little stronger. I just stripped, uh, or I just got the ground wire out of the household wire and just straightened it out a little bit and put it on there. You could use um, this this kind of wire right here. That's perfectly fine to, as well, but that's just what I had available at that time and that's what I used, so. I think that's it. If you don't want the Arduino to be connected to the computer all the time, you'll wanna get a, a power jack right there. Uh, an adapter from the wall and you can just plug it in and after you upload the code it'll automatically run once you plug it in. Um, I just grabbed one from one drawer, an old one, and wired it up, altered it a little bit and made it work. So I think that's it. It's really not that expensive. Out if you already have the Arduino, um, the LEDs were four bucks on eBay. The wire, which doesn't really count, but it's like probably used a dollar's worth or less. The uh, resistors, like I said, is a dollar, so I used eight cents on those. Um, perf board was two bucks, like I said. So really, this project probably cost me, outside of the Arduino Uno, which you can reuse again, um, it probably costed me less than fifteen dollars, fifteen ten bucks. Really cheap, really easy to make. Um, now with the Arduino, it was twenty bucks on Amazon. If you want to grab one of those you can also grab a kit that's 30 bucks but let's focus on the LED cube and up next we'll I'll show you how to make the cube 
So the first thing you'll need to do to get this cube going is build a jig out of wood and basically what that is is just a grid that'll hold your LEDs in while you're soldering them just makes it a lot easier if you don't make a jig it's just not as straight not as nice looking in the, the end product so the first thing you'll get about I think it's a 3 8 bit don't bank on that but you can try it out just kinda size it up with the LED but I think it's around 3 8 um, might be a little smaller actually but just so the LEDs are snug in there um, and then what you'll do is you'll stick each uh, 16 LEDs uh, you'll bend the long end at a right 90 degree angle and then the negative the shorter end um, just leave it standing straight up for now do that to all of them then you'll be ready to solder them together so what you'll want to do is see how I got two here um, this pretend like they're sticking in the hole right now um, you'll grab both of these and you'll want to put solder the two together right there right where they connect you can see that not the best but see how that goes right onto there you solder those together and then they should stick together that should be perfect and you'll have to do that for all of them and if you start here you'll want oh this is where I started this end and I did these soldered that way that way that way and then I went that way that way that way and then each of these lines I soldered there there and there and then I left the the columns which are the negative the short ends of the LED uh, down um, one thing that was super super helpful when I started uh, soldering was that I bent each LED out so I bent it at a right 90 degree right 90 degree angle and I bent it down just outside of where the LED stopped so when you have one stacked on top of the other it doesn't run into the top but it goes to the side of the LED and then the next one is done the same way so you just solder those right beside the LED instead of having to curve around the LED this just made it super super a lot easier um, so yeah you just build build it up and after you get one layer done you will solder the columns together you'll want to do the corners first on all of the side all of them and then you'll go into the middle and do them it's a lot easier than it looks it just takes some time so be patient with it um, and you'll get it done didn't take too long probably about half an hour to an hour for me now I'm not even that good at soldering so shouldn't take too long once you build the cube you'll stick it into the perf board um, and then I, I bent the, the LEDs so it just stay in there easier um, and then I wired this I just color coded them all and I kept them at the same place just so it'd be easier nicer looking uh, easier to troubleshoot if you have to um, as you can see there's the corner one the next one and then it starts down here it's just easier to wire up to the Arduino easier to program if you make everything organized um, so yeah that's that and I poked them out the top here and can then connected them to these these wires and then over here that these are this down here is gonna make the columns and then this over here is going to make the layers the positives and remember the positive is for it makes up the layers and then the columns are made up by the negatives so I just connected a wire from here and I went down and in, into the perf board and connected it to that 50 or 100 ohm uh, resistor and then I connected them to the wire um, and I did that for each layer each of them is connected to a, hun a hundred ohm resistor and I wired them right there as you can see the resistor right there and then right there so there's one last look there zoom in a little bit on some of these parts So that's how I built that and wired it together. Now for the code. And I'll try to put this in the description or upload it somehow that you can get to it really easily. But I'm gonna have the code for you up here. 
and I'm gonna have what you're gonna where you're gonna connect. So A1 is going to be see I have it A1, A2, A3. It's just like a chessboard. I labeled each column has its own names. This is gonna be A1, A2, A3, A4, B1, B2, B3, B4, etc. etc. Just like a chessboard, like I said. Um, and that's what I named them in the program. So you'll I have what you'll connect. You'll connect A1 to 13, A2 to 12, A3 to 11, 9, 8, 7, 6. Those are the output pins. Um, and then down here, you'll go to the analog side, which you might not know this, but you can use the analog inputs, input pins to, um, to use as outputs. So you use each one of those, each six of those, and you connect, as you can see, I have the layers here and all each individual column up there. So yeah, I'm not going to go through this whole code like I said, I'll see if I can um, upload it. I'm going to get it up there somehow, but I'll get it there for you. Um, I did it in function just so it's easier to ma manipulate the main function. So turn off everything is going to call turn off everything function here. It's going to go through there and come back to this function. It's going to go the next one, flicker on. I'm just going to go and call. There it is, flicker on, it's gonna go through this, it's gonna return, and so forth and so on. So you can add more functions of this. Um, this is just gonna be the main function right here. If you have questions on anything, there's tons and tons of other instructables. Um, just Google instructables 4x4x4 LED cube. There's probably five other projects that are super helpful. Um, and if you have any questions with coding or anything, you can shoot me and shoot me a question or comment or whatever or you can go on and just google it on the arduino forum there's tons of information on there tons and tons and tons very smart people that talk about stuff on there you get lots of uh, ideas and stuff from there so don't just you watch this video but watch some other ones get some ideas before you start but i highly recommend that you try this it's a lot of fun and uh yeah go for it <laughs>